about to give them what they want. I don't think they're ready for this, though. Beast mode. 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 Descending to Hades before returning to the living world and reuniting with Demeter, her mother and the goddess of fertility. To attain the Elysian Mysterious, one was required to consume Kikion, a hallucinogenic beverage. What's good, YouTube? You know who it is. Chris Jones, represent Pump Chasers. You already know me, man, Morning Cardio. And I'm on that Cuts FTS Fat Burner. Hey, I don't cut without it, baby. And you shouldn't either. Go to TigerFitness.com, get 30 bottles of them. You know my boy Bruno needs those treats. So, Lean Jones episode three. I'm gonna vlog for you guys a little bit. Hey, cuts going well, but this is only the second week. On week three, I'm gonna step it up a little bit. Right now, I'm only doing 20 minutes of cardio. I'm gonna increase that, change my macros. I'll be sure to tell you guys what my macros are, my cardio, all that good stuff, all right? So let me finish my cardio, and we'll see you in the kitchen. Bam! All right, got that 93.7 lean beef, that lean lean, that lean lean. Let's get it. I mix it up, man. The seasoning, so depending on how I feel that day. Today I'm feeling like a little black pepper. Uh, not this right now. Let's go with, uh, definitely get them herbs in. All right. And I'm feeling Cajun today. Let's get that, that Tony's original Creole seasoning. All right. Bam. Take a little purple onions up in there. Get a little bit of that black pepper. Bam! And of course the herbs. Show some love on them herbs. It's gonna help you heal, baby. All right. Once this is cooked, I'm gonna add a whole box of black beans. Gonna increase my protein and my fiber intake, okay? And some brown rice. Come on now, don't do me like that on camera. There we go. Bam! And one more thing, just a little bit of G. Hugh sugar-free hickory flavored barbecue sauce in there for a little extra flavor. Has to get those flavors in if you want your cut to last. If your food don't taste good, you ain't gonna stay on it long. All right, rice and beans. Go ahead and blend it up and put it in a bowl. We good. All right, guys, I'm about to get ready to go to the gym and record some um, tutorial footage. And I'm going to work out, get my workout out of the way, too. Now, if you watch my vlog um, about the minor setback, I was not happy about the grays being two-toned. We got dark gray here, light gray here. But I'm not going to lie to you. I got an overwhelming amount of emails and DMs from supporters, Pump Sixers family, that still want this. So we're going to come out with this two-tone set. If you're interested, I have details for you very soon. If you follow me on Instagram, and if you follow the Pump Chasers page on Instagram, you'll be the first to know. If you only follow me on YouTube, you will eventually find out. But follow me on the gram, you'll know as soon as possible when this is getting released. I would like to release these as soon as possible. Once we get the pictures ready, we count everything, make sure the quality of the par, we're going to release these bad boys. Check it out. I'm rocking the large joggers and the uh, large hoodie. And the shit's hugging the sleeves, as you see. Make sure you do your curves for the girls. You put this shit together right, this two-tone set will look good on you. As you see, I got this shit looking good. You All right, guys. In the car. Getting that meal in. No excuses, baby. Let's get it. All right, homies and home man. So here we are at the gym. I just got done eating. Now, I'm about to record some tutorials for you guys. It is New Year's resolution season. People are gonna be searching for tips and stuff like that. I gotta get out there. So I got my boy Brand here helping me yeah. out. We're gonna give y'all some tips. Y'all be sure to follow my brother at BB Fit. Or what? Well, well, Brand Vasquez. Yeah, Brand Vasquez Fit. All right, yes. Brand Vasquez Fit. Fuck well, I had it on the screen for you. And you already know these cutoffs right here are in clearance. Only $13. Be sure to fuck with it. Plus a 10% discount on it. Hey. Tell them the 10% discount code. BB Fit. Get you another, probably, I think, like. 10%. 10, 10 yeah. Off. Yeah, there it is. And you get my boy commission. Be sure to support yeah. my brother right here. Brother, get the word, guys. Enough talking. Uh, See y'all soon. Uh huh. Elbow up. My white hottest bicep peak out. Go ahead. Get over here. Get yeah, shut up. Get people what they want. Look at that. Make sure 
you're breathing. Get that oxygen in. Breathe that air in. There you go. Keep that elbow up. Don't bring it down here. See? Don't bring it down here. Keep the elbow up and elevated. There you go. Look at that, guys. Keep the bar close to your center of mass. As you see, she's not scraping her shins, but the bar is close to her shins. And look at her. She's squeezing the glutes at the side. Right at the top, she's squeezing the glutes. Give me two more. Get to the side real quick. All right, guys. I'm going to turn this shit down. But yeah, I just uh, got done doing natural booties. Booty tip video for you guys. Shout out to Rachel. Say what's up, Rachel. Hey. Tell me where they can find you one more time. Rachel.Gill on TikTok and Instagram. There it is. Y'all follow her, man. She helped the ladies out. Ladies, video coming soon. Guys, got some work done on the clients. You already know. Beach Mode 316 for online macro based coaching. You already know. TigerFitness.com. Get that sour gummy. Don't miss out, baby. All three flavors are hitting. You go, B. Come on, B. Shit, baby. I'm home. Hey, Bruno. So it's time to figure out what I'm going to have for my next meal. You know, I'm cracking macros. Now, if you use myfitnesspal.com, guys, uh, you would know you can actually save some of your favorite meals. That way, you don't got to keep logging in all the ingredients. If you do a meal that has like four or five or six or more ingredients, that can get fucking annoying having to log that in every time you eat it. Just save the meal. So I'm, have, I'm thinking about having an egg burrito. Bam. All right, before I make me a meal, I'm gonna have me a post-workout shake with some fruit. You already know, tigerfitness.com. Get those pump chasers so up. Stop showing Bruno over there, man. Bruno, so appreciate it, man. Them treats, those treats ain't cheap, baby. You already see it, your pump, pump and grind. You know, we got the GEF Way. We got the Cuts FTS Fat Burner. Don't miss out, baby. I'm gonna go ahead and do 250 grams of pineapple. And I'm gonna have a little bit of this light whipped cream. It's pretty good, man. Macro friendly whipped cream. Bam! I'm gonna have this. I'm gonna enjoy a little YouTube. My clients are already caught up right now. Enjoy a little YouTube, man. And then I'm gonna make me a little something to eat. Y'all see these groceries? Guys, come on, baby. Stop fucking around. Join me. If you know you, you ain't in shape, you know if summer's coming around the corner and you want to look good this summer, stop just watching me work. Join me. That's what I'm here for, baby. I heard it motivate you. Let's get it. Y'all see it, baby. Five servings of egg whites. 46 grams in one serving. 46 times five, 230. Bam. Y'all watch closely. I'm going to show you how to put together a nice little burrito and it fits my macros. Let me show you how it's done. Take notes. Pay attention. Don't miss nothing. If you gotta rewind these clips, rewind them. Don't miss out, baby. It might change your life. You might want to cook this today or tomorrow. Let's do it. So, let's start out with a little avocado oil spray or pan. Ooh, shit. Or whatever y'all want to use. Let's go ahead and get those five servings of egg whites going. Bam! I got enough fats in my diet to get a whole egg squeezed in here. This whole egg will give me more protein, but most of all, that yolk is gonna add some extra nutrients and some extra flavors. Let's go ahead and scramble this up and get this looking like something. Get those tomatoes. Boop. Bam. Y'all better not be sleeping on, don't sleep on Chef Jones. Don't sleep on me, baby. All right, check it out. Look, see the egg is coming together. All right, the egg came in together. All right, go ahead and throw some black pepper on there. 
Blue mm. bam. Go ahead and get some salt on there. Bam. All right, now I want to get some of this 2% cheese on there. All right, one slice. I'm tracking macros, baby. Tracking macros. Bam. Now, get the tomatoes in here. Y'all see me, boy. Y'all see me working. Now, let's get a little micronutrients going. Just a little micronutrients. Go ahead and get a little dash of that spinach up in there. Get a little micros up in there, man. It's gonna help you heal a little bit. Get some, get some, get some, get some nutrients up in there. Get a little micronutrients. Get a little antioxidants up in there. Get some green up in there. Okay? There we go. Fold it up in there. All right. Let that shit get softened up. Let that spinach get softened up. Now while that's coming together, get these refried beans. They got this right here. You don't gotta get this specific brand, but you can find refried, fat-free pinto beans anywhere. Okay? Very macro friendly. It's gonna add some protein, some fiber, and most of all, some flavors. Some good old flavors in your food. Alright? I'm gonna get one serving. One serving is 130 grams. All right, so check it out. Come over here, show them the scale. See that number? We're gonna get 130 grams up out of there. Bam. Bam. Get a little more. Ooh, that boy did that easy. I do, I do this shit. Boy, I'm a macro master. You feel me? I'm your sensei. This one going on a burrito right here. I take this burrito out. I get this specific brand at Whole Foods. As you see, it's whole grain and flax. Mm, mm, mm. All right. Just how much fiber we got in this thing. I already got plenty of fiber for the day. Five grams of fiber, though. All right. I'm going to get these beans. Spread that on there. All right. Not only going to add flavor, but it's going to help this burrito close up. All right, just spread that on there. If you don't like beans, don't worry about it, but I do, all right? Beans are like a cheat code. Like I said, it adds extra protein, gives some quality carbs, and it gets that fiber. People overlook that fiber intake. I think the most too overlooked thing when cutting, people ain't getting enough water, and people ain't getting enough fiber. So I'm gonna put this in the microwave for like 30 seconds. This is enough to get it heating up, all right? Just to get it heating up. I can use another 15 seconds. Them beans still cold from that refrigerator, man. That was 30 more seconds, man. We'll be right back, man. See, there's a difference when you get it straight out the can versus the refrigerator. You get it out the fridge out the can, you you go on room temperature. You get this shit out the refrigerator. I have to keep some beans stored in the Tupperware. You feel me? And when you do it out the refrigerator, beans get a little cold. So, 30 seconds to a minute. All right. Now we're talking. Now it works. Y'all see that steam? Oh, Y'all see it? All right. Now, put some eggs up in here. You can scramble them, or you can do a ghetto omelet style, however you want to do it, all right? Now let me try to paint a picture in my mind how I'm going to do this. Sit this thing sideways. Sit this thing sideways, all right? Now, I'm not dead set on making all these eggs fit. I'm gonna make it fit to where it look pretty. Any eggs I don't use, I'll just eat it by itself, okay? So this part right here. I'll just eat this by itself. I want this shit to fit, man, okay? There it is, I'm gonna get that up off there too. All right, eat this by itself, okay? Put a little hot sauce on that, I'll be straight. Now we working, okay? The salsa for those extra flavors. Woo! Don't be jealous, guys. I showed you how to do it. Don't be jealous. Damn. I don't know what y'all think. You want to dislike the video? You want to dislike my video because you're jealous? Dude, make your own. Damn, I'm showing you how it's done. I ain't being stingy. Get a little of that green pepper hot sauce on there too, man. All right, now the moment we're all waiting for. Let's roll this thing up. You feel me? Let's roll this thing up. All right. Get it right there. Look at that. Uh-huh. Get up in there. 
Uh-huh. Look at all that. All that extra space. I got it. I got it. Bam. Bam. Now I'm going to let this sit. Let it cool for a little bit. If you want to really go hard, maybe spray it a little bit and toast it. You know what I mean? But you don't got to do all that. So I'm going to eat these little eggs. Get this out of the way. Knock this out of the way. And then I'm going to enjoy my burrito. Okay? <laughs> believe this shit guys I almost forgot the best part the best part I bit into it and I said hold up something ain't right man and sure enough I forgot to add these two slices and believe it or not it makes a huge fucking difference man two slices of turkey bacon and look at the macros on this shit man you won't believe it these macros are all beautiful macros look at this just one slice is six grams of protein only one slice Six grams of protein. And I got two slices, guys. All right, guys, check it out. This is why you gotta watch the whole vlog. Let's go ahead and throw a little jalapenos in this thing. This ain't gonna lie to you. This shit tastes pretty good the way it was. But this right here is gonna take shit to the next level. All right, don't y'all wanna level up? Okay, you wanna level your shit up? Bam, little jalapenos. Now, Let's get this crispy turkey bacon up in here, man. Uh, uh, uh. Now, we got a masterpiece. Fingers burning, fingers burning. Now, we got a masterpiece. Now, we got something right here. Here we go. Here we go. Now we're talking, baby. Mmm. Now we're talking. All right, so check this out, homies and homettes. For those of you who have never gotten a program from BeachMode316.com, look at this, guys. This is how they look, all right? Now check this out. You have the programs, and you also have free tutorial videos. Check that right there. Now look, you just click on what you want to see. Let's click on a random one. How about cable crossovers? Bam. See? All right. Every exercise on the program has free tutorial videos to help you out. That way your form ain't fucked up. Fuck with your boy, baby. Now, I already have a four days on, one day off program. But I'm making a new one because the split I'm following now is different than the one on my website. So if anybody want to do the exact split I'm doing on my cut, be looking out for the new four days on one day off program but just get a program you can stick with the bro split push pull leg the new full body if you only have three eggs to train just get something you can stick with and stop fucking around it's time to get on it baby but yeah i'm working on this program it should be done very soon it doesn't take me long well fuck all that man the beast is getting hungry again preparing my potato for the night i got it sliced down i only need 300 grams before cooked now it doesn't matter if you go with cooked weight or not cooked weight. I get this question all the time. Just understand, when you cook a potato, the water in it comes out, so it's gonna weigh less. And just because it weighs less doesn't mean it's less carbs. So don't make the mistake of, you know, going with cooked weight if you're not keeping those macros in mind. For an example, you know, a four ounce potato raw it's gonna have less carbs than a four ounce potato cooked. Let's say for an example, you got a four ounce potato and it's raw weight, right? When you cook it, it might weigh three or two ounces, right? Depending on how dehydrated it is, depending on how crispy it is, you know, have you sliced it up or whatever, you know? So if you're gonna go with the cooked weight, make sure you adjust your macros to cooked weight. Let me show you this right here. See, look at this. This is the cook weight for a 300 gram potato, 63 grams of carbs. Now this is the raw weight for 300 grams of potato. Same weight, right? But less macros. Why? Because once you cook this 300 gram potato raw weight, it's going to weigh less. It's probably going to be in the low 200s, depending on how long you cook it or if you slice it up or whatever. You're going to cook the water out of it. So just keep that in mind. It doesn't, go, it doesn't matter if you go with raw weight or cooked weight, just adjust the macros. If you're the type of person that cook your potatoes in bulk, right, and you wanna weigh out, let's say, five ounces of potato, make sure you go with the cooked macros so it'll be more accurate. You know, if you're the type of person that's doing like I'm doing right now, slicing them up and then cooking them, 
go with the raw wave. Simple, all right? So check it out, homies and homettes. I got 306 grams. I could slice a little piece off and make this shit 300 even, but I ain't tripping, okay? So I got 300 grams of potato, all right? Like I said earlier, I'm gonna be adjusting my macros the next week. Depending on how much I weigh Monday morning, I plan on changing my macros around and my cardio around. So I got this avocado spray. Spray it around, all right? We're gonna flip these bad boys over. Flip these bad boys over. Now keep in mind, this is my first time air frying this shit, so I'm testing this out. I'm gonna aim for 20 minutes. Hopefully 20 minutes is enough. Bam! Now check this out. I got some raw chicken I'm about to season up. I want to use another air fryer, man. So I got two. Fuck it, man. So I'm going to use this air fryer right here and cook up my chicken, man. Let's get it, man. I could easily use the grill or the oven, but I'm keeping it in a hundred. Um, maybe it's because I'm new to this, but I'm really enjoying this air fryer. I really, I'm really enjoying it. So I got two, man. Fuck it. Fun fact, this was actually given to me as a gift. And um, long story short, I had this in my, um, let me show you. I had this in my backyard. You see that right there? Let me focus right there. You can't see that? Well, take my, it's kind of dark out here, but take my word for it, man. In my backyard, I got a little, there you go. All right, so check that out right there. You see that? That's a little storage space we have in the backyard, right? Long story short, I was given this um, air fryer as a gift, man. I forgot all about it. So I was in there digging through some shit, and I found this. I was like, man, I've been had an air fryer. I just never, I just never took out the box. So I got two air fryers, man. Mmm. Crispy. Okay. That's pretty good. If I can give you guys a tip, try to keep them thick. You know, unless you just want them really thin and crispy like french fries, that's not what I'm going for. I'm going for nice and crispy on the outside, but soft on the inside, you know? So, probably gonna keep them thick like this. Keep now, this chicken, this chicken came out beautiful. So take a look, homies and homettes. I got the chicken right here. I got those potatoes. I got a little walnuts. This is kind of random. Keep in mind, I needed to add 10 grams of walnut to complete my fats. You know, right now, I'm hitting 60 grams of fat. So to hit those 60 grams of fat, I added a little walnuts, okay? And bam, just a little side salad, nothing fancy. You know, just the mixed greens with the um, tomato. And I love onions. I got a little purple onion up in there. And this is the dressing I use. Very macro friendly right here. Very, let me see, take a look at that. You can take a look for yourself. See that? Only three grams of carbs, zero fat, all right? Take a look at these meals. Y'all remember the first meal I had, the beef, beans, and rice? Bam. And as you see right here, that was the shaken pineapples. As you see right here, that was the burrito I made. Let me scroll down. As you see, this right here is the chicken, walnuts, and the 300 grams of potato weighed. And there's my macros, you know. I went a little under my carbs. My carbs were supposed to be 225, but that's okay. All right. So there you go. Those are the macros hit for the day. Went a little over on the protein, but that's fine. Now, keep in mind, guys, I'm going to be changing my macros real soon. And whenever I change them, I'll be letting you know. Most likely, I'm going to up my protein just a little bit. As you see, I have no problem hitting my protein, right? Drop my fats and my carbs just a little bit and increase my cardio some so we can keep this progress coming and we can get a good amount of progress too. I want every week to count, all right? I'll be sure to let you guys know what I do with that. Y'all stay tuned. You know, and y'all know me, guys. Y'all know I was always eating skinless, boneless thighs because I really didn't care for chicken breast. This air fryer really allows me to enjoy chicken breast. If anybody got my fat loss meal plan, it had a lot of chicken breast on there. So if you get it, be sure to get you an air fryer. It's going to help you stick with this diet for sure. As you see, I'm eating chicken breast. Mm-mm-mm.
Oh, Denise and Brooks back. Hey! She sleep. Hey guys. <laughs> All right, guys. We're watching the finale of Dexter. I'm gonna go ahead and end this vlog here. Don't forget beachmo316.com for online macro-based coaching, programs, fat loss meal plans. Fuck with your boy. All the merch has been dropped. You can get this hoodie right now. This hoodie I'm wearing for cheap. Pumpsters.com. Don't forget that gray two-tone suit is coming very soon. When you think we'll, when you think we'll drop that two-tone gray, baby? Hopefully next week. Aiming to have it in stock next week. Just stay tuned. And thank you guys for your support. Thank you so much. Because your boy Bruno, he needs those streets, baby. We'll see you at the next video. Peace. Wait.